Landslides and floods in central Philippines have killed at least 85 people. A further 20 are missing as rescuers slowly reach cut-off communities. The tragedy has been caused by a tropical depression which brought days of heavy rain in several provinces. The wall of mud and debris came without warning just before sunset on New Year's Eve. About 100 people live in the village of Sunaresmi. It slammed into their homes, burying at least 30 buildings, many up to their roofs. This is the fleeting footage of the item Jeremiah Hislop saw falling in the sky just after midnight on Monday. He was driving home to West Kelowna when he witnessed the meteor fall above the Bear Creek area in the sky west of Okanagan Lake.
This is the biggest winter storm to slam the St. Louis area in five years, with nearly a foot of snow falling since late Friday. Across the plains, the wintry mess shut down roadways, creating dangerous icy conditions. As the storm moves east, conditions are expected to get worse. More than 65 million people are under winter storm warnings. winter storm hitting the west coast forced hundreds of people from their homes across a wide area of southern california a wall of mud triggered by heavy rain damaged houses in encino that's northwest of los angeles Tonight, a rare blizzard warning is in effect in the Sierra region. The National Weather Service says heavy snow may impact traffic tonight. Forecasters in Reno predict up to five feet of snow in the upper elevations around Tahoe. The blizzard warning runs from 7 o'clock tonight to 7 Thursday morning.
an Arctic blast bringing in the coldest air of the season after a weekend storm that left up to two feet of snow in upstate New York. EF2 damage from a tornado in Alabama. In Kansas, watch as this car skids and spins out of control. Good God. A storm system has already cut a frozen path across central Canada. The temperature in some places plunging below minus 20. I take Ottawa. Yesterday, it held the title of the coldest capital city in the world. and people were sleeping when the ground suddenly caved in. A massive sinkhole just opened up right outside people's homes in a condo complex. Unbelievable. It happened on Imperial Highway at Del Sur Avenue in La Habra. A total fire ban is in force in parts of Tasmania today with residents told to brace for dangerous conditions. Dozens of out of control blazes continue to burn throughout the state. The Daintree faced a weekend of torrential weather, which saw the Daintree River reach its highest ever flood level in 118 years. As a result of the flooding, residents in the area are now without access to triple zero emergency services.
suffering through a dangerous deep freeze. It was so cold in Chicago Wednesday, the city set its train tracks on fire to keep things moving. Temperatures hit a record-breaking low in the city, plunging to minus 22 degrees. At least 12 deaths have been blamed on the bone-chilling cold. This morning, the deadly freeze bringing whiteout conditions. In upstate New York, you can barely see, but you can clearly hear cars crashing into one another. Blinding conditions leading to wreck after wreck. January was officially Australia's hottest month since records began more than a century ago and there's no relief in sight from the sweltering conditions. The Bureau of Meteorology says the average monthly temperature across the country also exceeded 30 degrees for the first time.